I'm Beth Newman, courtesy Coaching for Kids, the video series geared toward all of us. Halloween is coming up, and I think this is a great opportunity to provide you all with some tricks and some treats for elevating our etiquette game. First of all, our attitude. Attitude is everything. And it's been difficult during this time, what we've all been going through, to have a positive attitude, everything we see on the news, things that we're dealing with in our personal lives. But when we wake up and decide, you know what, this is it. I am in charge of my day. I am in charge of my mindset and my intention. Intention is a big one. My intention is to go out there and be as good as I can be and to set the best example I can set for not only my kids, but for everyone else that I encounter. Another little trick that has been working for me, especially lately with this pandemic, is finding a spiritual base. And that is something different for everybody. Wake up with an attitude of gratitude. Again, spiritual base and attitude oftentimes go hand in hand. But having some sort of spiritual foundation, whether it's prayer, whether it's meditation, maybe if it's maybe it's just a walk outside, really connecting to something greater than us is a wonderful way to elevate your mindset and as a result you're going to elevate your etiquette my third trick for elevating my etiquette game is really focusing on good health i am not a young woman anymore obviously <laughs> And um, as 80s, ladies, as we age, it is not as easy to take care of ourselves as we did when we were in our 20s and 30s. And a few years ago, going through the change, I experienced weight gain that I was not happy about. Um, I was eating a lot of garbage um, and just not taking care of myself the way that I should have. And I finally decided it was a year and three months ago, I decided enough, all right? I don't feel well. And I know it's because of everything that I'm putting into my body. So what worked for me was going on the keto diet. Now, before you try anything, consult your doctor. Thanks to keto, the high protein, thanks to running again, I actually lost 35 pounds and I feel so much better. I eat better. I don't have to have the daily soda and the daily candy bar. Um, so what we're ingesting, our level of activity, that affects us and that is going to affect how we interact with one another. Give yourself something to look forward to. I know that we're still sort of in lockdown mode when we do gather, it's not the same, but if you are able to get out of your house and be amongst people you enjoy. That really does affect your attitude. That makes you want to just live a little and be a better person. I was very fortunate this, this past weekend to get together with some wonderful people, enjoy some live music in an outdoor setting, and it actually felt like fall here in Houston, Texas, and I'm still riding that wave of just the the good vibes, the good energy from that gathering. So give yourself something to look forward to. My next little trick, my friends, we got to get away from those screens. The entertainment that is geared toward us and geared toward our kids is not necessarily the best things that we could be filling our minds with. Garbage in, garbage out. Put down those phones, turn off that TV, and pick up a book. And I'm actually going to share some of my favorite author authors in the comments section here that I encourage you to seek out. And my final trick for elevating our etiquette game is to seek inspirational people. You are the sum and I am the sum of the five people we spend the most time with. So we want to be very careful with whom we spend our time. We want to make sure that they're way of life and their thoughts are in alignment in alignment with ours. Now that doesn't mean we have to agree on everything, okay? That just means we all kind of share the same, same attitudes as one another. You can also find some inspiring people on social media. Now I know I said earlier to get away from the screens, but when you get on that screen, 
Look for people who provide good, positive information. Look for those entertainers out there that are just doing some wonderful things and are just making us all feel good as we're going through these trying times. So there you have it, the Halloween edition to Courtesy Coaching. I wanna thank you guys so much for all of your likes and all of your comments and all of your shares. It means an awful lot to me. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Please find me on Instagram. Please find Courtesy Coaching for Kids on Facebook. And please remember too, I've got a great little special going on now through October 31st, the end of this month. $5 off for brand new students via Zoom. So please reach out to me. I'd love to work with your preteen, your teen in the areas of courtesy and etiquette. Thank you again, everyone, for all of your support. And remember, no matter what you do, do unto others and just go out there and be fabulous.